everybody. I hope you're all well out there. I thought I would have some fun with this painting today and show you how I'm working on the stonework. So earlier, if uh, I don't remember if I did a video or if I just showed you, I just did squash, 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 two different colors and just kind of made a shape. And then I didn't do a video while I did this, but I started the round shape on the top and then I, I came back through with this size brush, which is very little, just a flat brush, and then a smaller one, same thing, flat. And then I use this rough little, it's a small one too, but it's got a fat end. It's all kind of bristled, which is fine for this technique. That's what I want. But with the larger brush, what I did is I came along here, let me move this over here so it's easier for me to reach, but I just came along and shaped it out like that. And then I mixed, I just used three colors. I used the white, the black, and some gesso, and then some water, and just work it as I wanted to. And I just brought in, first I, it was very dark, and then I brought in light on top of that. And then I took the, gesso and I made slight little lines like it looked like you know stonework and now what I'm at is filling in that stonework and giving it more of it's not just flat but it has a face here and we want to give it that shape so what I'm doing is I'm taking water so we need water in our palette. Oh, sorry, I wasn't quite prepared. <laughs> I very rarely am prepared for anything, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, so I just put a little tiny bit of water in one of the little holes here, and then I'm taking some black, and then I'm really watering it down. And oh, I forgot, I needed one other brush. Let's see, I'm gonna reach across. No, I think I have one over here. Where is it at? Oh, I don't know. No, I do think, okay. Well, this is mostly round. So I want a round, fat brush that's dry. And this will have to do for now. This is an angled kind of in rough shape brush. So I want that to be held out. And I'm gonna take this rough brush here and load it with a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is start to go to where the corners of these stones are and just kinda of start to give them a shape. And then I take the dry brush and I just squish it in. And I'll do it again. I might need a little more black in that water, it looks like. So, I'm just kind of squishing it on in the bits of the corner there. You want it to look, you know, natural, like what a piece of stonework might look like. And, you know, I suppose you could use reference photo. I'm sure you can find them places. I spent a lot of time just looking through pictures of stuff I think is real pretty. Old hassles, brickwork, stonework. I just surf looking at pictures and then I just study it. I don't go off of any picture that I, I have, but I do study it. So, and this is pretty tedious work, just little bits we're filling in. And, you know, if it gets too dark, then I'll go ahead, and come back and put some white on it. But at the moment, I'm just kind of doing this. And I also keep in mind that I'm going to be covering a lot of this brickwork, rock work, I should say. 
because I'm hoping to have a vine of roses growing up of it up the up the brickwork here and then I also worked on putting uh, tea in we want it to be you know etched into the brick so I'm going to stop over there for now I'm going to bring this over here and we're going to show you you know a little more definition here because I haven't actually started on this one to do the little bits in there the reason you want to take the dry brush on there after you've put some paint on there is you don't want it to be like a brush stroke you want it to be pretty rocky you know so I'm just gonna and going to the edges is a good idea you want it to kind of wrap you want it to have come around the corner there and that's one of the things that I'll be doing too is you want it to look like it's not a drawn edge it's a the edge of the brick that our rock that's coming around that corner and like I said if it's too dark I can come back and put some more white in it kind of the same trick I use with the aspen trees just kind of bring it around and it gives it more of a post a round shape to it and we have another T over here that I'm trying to make look like it's etched in and right now it looks pretty rough you know we're still in the beginning stages of this part of the painting I try to stick kind of to the corners of things the way I feel that the light would hit it. And we just keep doing this and that's basically what we're doing is aging it. You know, because these the stonework isn't brand new in this painting. And the reason I make this little these little lines, the little white lines, is to give me an idea of where I want this stuff to go. Here's a pretty good shape. Of that in fact I I really I like that way that turned out there so I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna do that same thing here so kind of bring it in on the edges there gives it more of a shape when I'm working on something I just kind of mess with it and then I'm like oh wait okay I like that and then let's see one of the other things I started doing on this piece is the I've got the curve here I'm going to put a lantern right there and I've started working on the gate that I want it to go backwards and it's a little crooked now so I'm going to go back through and cover it up with this color and then redo it again sometimes that's what happens with me I kind of have to do it a couple times to get the right either the right uh, distance or the right um, size because sometimes I have trouble with that it's, I have a hard time with it my the way I see things visually not very good at judging distances and um, it's in my painting so uh, sometimes I just have to redo stuff so that I can see that like the distance is judged properly so I'm gonna darken it a little bit underneath here we want that T to kind of stand out this is the castle that belongs to the tea folks. So that's the first uh, personal part of this painting is the first initial that we've got in there. And then I'll be doing a few more 
things in this painting to add uh, the personal aspect that this is their their castle and their home or their adventure so there you go that's how I start to get the uh, depth on the, the stonework is really just quite a lot of layering in the way I paint I build it piece by piece depending on what it is I'm working with so and I'll probably come back and soften this just a little bit more it's a little more water I think you probably can't even see it in the video but it's starting to bother me I'm pretty detailed when I work on these things and really I do enjoy that I really realized doing this particular painting the last few paintings actually because I've been videotaping them some of them and some all the way through and like this one just a little bit at a time here and there but it's slowed down my work because I was trying to kind of go a little quicker but you know what it's really worth the time and I think like with anything you should stop and enjoy it you know smell those roses so which is also one of the reasons why I do more than one painting because I do get kind of bored sometimes doing little tiny details but we're getting a pretty good thing here and this looks weird but that's because it's not done yet and of course our tree looks weird so I think you know it's I always say what I'm gonna do next and then I just change my mind completely so we'll see but I think I'm gonna be working on the tree because I want to get the right um, again distance and size and shape so I really need to finish up the stonework around the tree so then I can layer the tree on top of that stonework. But I think it's starting to age pretty nicely. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of video. And have a great day. And we'll be back another time. Bye.